okay, Tesla just dropped 2024.39.5 and our Cybertruck just pulled it in. And this does actually include a new version of FSD supervised. And that is very, very, very much needed in the Cybertruck. So we actually just went on a recent road trip and went about 400 miles. It's the first time we've actually taken a longer distance travel with the truck using FSD and it's very much needed. It left a lot to be desired between lane drifts and late braking and accelerating. It, it was just, it's very unpolished. This is nothing new. You guys have probably heard this before, but I'm hoping this is either the build to fix that or at least eliminate some of those issues moving towards that goal. Having said that, also, we'll take a look at these build numbers and see what actual release notes they have. I have a feeling it's just going to be bug fixes because we are waiting on that holiday update, which should be dropping in a matter of weeks. And that's usually where Tesla saves all of those new features and fun changes for that build. Let's go ahead and jump right in the truck. So as you can see, back in the Cybertruck, and the first thing you will notice on the release notes is that FSD Supervised has been updated to 12.5.5.3. This is a double dot, or I should say triple dot update since the last one. The prior build was 12552. So nothing is technically new in these release notes. Everything is the same as they have been. However, hopefully they will have figured out some of those drifting issues and all of that that we just spoke of. Aside from that, in release notes also, more breakdown of FSD supervised and the vision-based attention monitoring that has been available for a number of betas now as well. So beyond that, nothing else new in the release notes, jumping into our actual apps, and you can see there's no callouts for any new notifications that there's been a change. Let's jump into the vehicle settings, and again, nothing here either. So we can just pop down, because sometimes we've seen where they will have a new quote unquote new tag, but nothing is showing here, even though the notification dots would be there. I'm not expecting anything new, like we said, honestly, and it's definitely nothing would be in trips, navigation, nothing else, schedule, software, nothing else really new as anticipated here. But for this version of 2024.39.5, it has a complete branch number of 139870. E16111D. So again, not too much new here. Obviously, the bigger takeaway changes will be what's new for FSD supervised. So we're going to go ahead and give this a test. Okay, so as you guys can see, we are cruising down on the road. FSD supervised is on. This is our first run through with all of the new updates that they made on the back end for that triple dot release that we just talked about. It was a minor update. It went from 0.2 to 0.3 at the end. But I can tell you already, at least from a speed perspective, it is actually cruising, keeping up with traffic. So before we would have to give it a little bit on the accelerator to keep it going, uh, especially after braking or anything like that. But it is happily keeping at 78 right now, which matches our speed offset. Also, like we explained, we did have a lane drift for a while where it would like to hug the left more so than the center of the lane, uh, and then even go over those bumps in the breakdown in between the lanes. It was very strange. But what we'll do, we'll finish with this drive and we'll see where we get. So it already had an issue with the speed and really came to an unsafe slow speed and was almost over in the left lane there. That was very interesting. Not something you really want to see obviously happen, especially after that drift was one of the main concerns. It did, however, pick speed back up at least. And now we're moving at a better rate of traffic. So that was good to see, but that was not very confidence ensuing uh, motion from the Cybertruck. That was a pretty good defensive maneuver there with that Civic cutting us off almost. It did keep in the center of the lane and slow down enough. As you can see though, even though that Civic is pulling away pretty safely, we still haven't remained or we haven't increased our rate of speed significantly back to around 70. It's hiding and really staying only around 67, 68 miles an hour, 69, 68. 
it just doesn't feel very complete. It is very janky. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a lot of stop and go right now. I'm going to give it a little bit on the accelerator. And then again, it realizes we should be going faster and it is now staying a little higher rate of speed. It's very interesting. I'm not sure exactly what is going on, uh, but clearly this release already in its few minutes we've been using it has a lot of the same issues from the prior build. So let's see exactly what the Cybertruck does here. FSD should be in the far right lane and we only have about a mile to go and you can see there's a good amount of traffic here. I'm curious to see how it's going to, or how aggressive it's going to be getting over these three lanes of traffic. It's not even attempting to make a move yet. Hopefully in this gap it will and sure enough it did. So this will be one lane, that's pretty good. And it's going to continue, hopefully right over to the right here in a second behind this red car. And there it goes. So that could have been done in one maneuver, but still, not the end of the world. That was a very, very good uh, maneuver. Now take it for speed. So the speed is still very inconsistent to me. I'm not sure why we're only going 63 miles an hour here either. Um, it's incorrect here saying the speed is only 40. It's actually 65. So I'm going to give it a little bit more. Even on this exit ramp, the speed did not decrease. There's no significant fast turn. So I'm actually having to give it a little bit more of a bump to go, uh, which is actually, again, interesting. I'm not sure if that's related strictly to the speed limit showing 40 and tricking the system. Uh, and also, I shouldn't need to be getting over here because the exit is coming up and that lane would have worked with it. It is a new exit. Perhaps that's why it's confusing it a little bit, but still, if it learns as it goes and it's not waiting on map updates, these should all be irrelevant comments. And it just actually got over to another lane that it should not have been in. So I'm going to actually take over here and get back over because it would not have gotten off in the amount of time needed to head in the right direction here. So I'm going to cancel this. We have a little bit of an idea what's going on. Still has a lot of outstanding work to be done. Still making some progress, but this is definitely not going to be the best FSD supervised branch for Cybertruck just yet. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.